Okay, so uh, here's what I thought might be fun. Well, I've got a selection of uh, octave mandolin type things here. I thought I'd compare how they sound. And what I'm going to do is start with the longest scale one and work down to the shortest one and we'll see uh, if the tone varies with scale. So we're starting with a long scale sit-in. This is one I built. It's tuned D, G, D, A, E. So it's an octave mandolin with the addition of that low D. And it's variable scale as you can see. 25 inch scale on the top, 26 and a half on the bottom. So it's a big old thing. So let's see how it sounds. So what you gain with the longer scale is particularly down that bass end. And you get the ring and the sustain. Top end you obviously have a thinner top string, so uh, it makes things like slides easier having uh, two plain strings. you get a slightly brighter, thinner sound on the thinner strings. So then... We have 20 inch scale world zipper. So this is still D, G, D. short of scale we obviously have a uh, very much bigger strings <laughs> So this still has a good ring. A sustain. But what gets slightly harder is getting those hammer-ons. Uh, without, uh, you know, without getting the sustain. You also now have a wound A string. Which 
I was about to say, which makes slides harder without getting squeaks, as you can hear. And a much thicker E. Uh, but perhaps doesn't sustain so long, especially going through that long slide. And lastly, So we have a mandola. Uh, so this is another one I made. This is actually the first instrument I ever made. And it's been mucked about a little bit with. Uh, I could do with a complete rebuild really, but it's, it's still going. So uh, so I put a capo on too, so that now we have uh, A, B, B. So compared to an octave mandolin, there's a G string missing down here. And we've got this extra high B string. And now we've gone all the way down with the capo on, all the way down to a 15 inch scale. So uh, really short, but we can play in the same key. So now we've lost the ability to have those real low notes and instead we've gained that top B which gives us a much more of a more mandolin like sound up there. So there we have it, three very different C bombs. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Cheers.